Howdy, 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 YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk brought to you by me, inspired by Chili. I'm going to tell y'all a little story. Just about, I guess about two days ago, I was driving down the road here in my own little hometown of Rome, Georgia, man. Driving down the road, and um, I, I see this middle-aged man walking up the, the sidewalk all by himself, man. It's about 100 degrees with 100% humidity, and this old middle-aged man's walking up the sidewalk all by himself, and buddy, he's got his mask on. He's got his mask on, and I thought, hmm, that's odd. I ain't seen that in a while. What's going on? So I started paying attention, looking around me at people in the, you know, driving in the cars and this and that, and I saw a few more people with their masks on, right? I got thinking, oh, heck, man, what's going on? I ain't seen this in a little while. So I got to doing a little bit of research, a little bit of listening, and uh, looks like um, looks like the powers that be are, are dropping down some information on some new coronavirus uh, variants that are coming out here, right? And they're trying to get people all, all uh, shook up again, and it looks like there's going to be potentially some more lockdowns coming, son. Some more lockdowns are probably coming. Now, why are we talking about this, man? Well, here's the first reason. There might be some more attempts at locking you down. Remember all that? Stay at home. Shut your business down. Uh, don't go outside. Don't do nothing. Wash your hands incessantly. Uh, be completely freaking insane. Smother yourself with two masks and wear a biohazard suit. Y'all remember all that crap? Well, when that stuff rolls back around, here's the thing, man. You need to be thinking about that right now. And you need to go ahead and decide what your reaction is going to be. You need to go ahead and decide what you're going to do when this crap happens again. You need to make a decision. And when it happens again, you need to stand firm in that decision. All right? Now, I personally like to think it it's going to be different when it comes around uh, this time. I, I like to personally think people are going to react differently. I like to personally think that a lot of people hopefully uh, learned a few things over the last few years. But I don't know that that for sure is going to be the case as I see this middle-aged man walking down the road out here in, you know, rural Georgia with a mask on. I hate to see what's happening in the cities right now. I hate to see that. You know, y'all remember also when it happened last time that people like me and most of you guys listen to this, we were the people that were shamed and yelled at and told on and and we were the we were the people that, you know, were were ostracized because we wouldn't wear our masks and uh we wouldn't close our businesses and and we actually went about our lives and accepted the the risk that is being a live human being. You might get sick. You might die. Uh, that's part of it. I'm going to keep on living, man. Remember? Well, you know, I look at these people now that are going back to wearing these freaking masks and crap, man. And if you're doing that now, that tells me something about you. If you're still, if you're going to put a mask on now, like, I got some grace for the folks last time. There were a lot of folks that were freaked out, ain't never heard or seen a nothing like this in their in their life. I got some grace for those folks, man. But I got no grace for you if you're going to go that route again. I got no grace for somebody that, that's going to that's gonna wear their, their, their face covering. I got no grace for them. It don't mean that I hate them. It don't mean that, that I'm going to that I'm going to do to them what they did to me and be mean to them like they were mean to us. But I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I don't know that there's any hope for them people. I believe if we, the people that we see that, that go that direction again, when this rolls back around, I believe that's, they're part of them people. What the Bible says has been turned over to a reprobate mind that they can no longer think properly, that they, they no longer know the difference between good and evil. They no longer um, have a functioning mind, that they're being controlled um, by the spiritual hosts of wickedness. 
uh, the prince of the power of this air. And to me, it's just freaking unbelievable. Think about it. How are you going to react? What's your plan of action when this crap rolls around again? Stand firm in that, man. It's time, son. If you got anything out of this episode, go buy a hat. Buy a t-shirt. It helps tremendously, man. And I'll keep these truck talks coming. And Chili will be down there in the dungeon packing y'all's orders for you. And we're going to keep doing work. Love you guys. Enough said.